Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts. Let's check out one of the coolest gadgets we've seen all year, the Headwave Tag Helmet Speaker. So what the heck is a Headwave Tag anyways? Uh, it turns out it is one of the most extraordinary helmet audio systems ever. It's completely wireless and produces the most full, rich, uh, bassy sound I've ever heard inside of a helmet. It installs in seconds, it's super durable, waterproof, made in Germany so you know it's good stuff, and it's really simple and easy to use. Um, it is not a communication system. Uh, what this does is it transmits um, Bluetooth audio, from, usually from your phone, and it turns your helmet kind of into a speaker box. And so it has a speaker driver built into this little box I'm holding that um, when you attach it to the helmet, it transfers that sound into the helmet um, and it is really incredible. This sucker's not cheap at north of $200, but I promise you, you've never heard sound like this inside of a helmet. Again, made in Germany, completely wireless, installs in seconds. What's in the box? Uh, not much because there's not much involved in installing this thing. Uh, you have your charger, which is magnetic and super sweet, uh, easy to plug in there, and it's a USB charger. You can plug it into any USB charging uh, device that you care to use. Also, you get two helmet adhesives. This thing does not come on and off. It uses these adhesive pads, so you can't go from helmet to helmet to helmet unless you have a lot of these. They include two with the helmet, so that's nice. And then they include a little alcohol swab. So the first thing you do is you want to um, swab down that helmet and then press this into place. A couple important things. We've used this thing quite a bit and we've relocated on the helmet and figured out that it works best when it's installed low on the helmet, okay? So I don't know if that has anything to do with being closer to the little bones in your ear that um, let you hear things, but it seems like it works best way down low. The other thing that's very important, uh, some people have written reviews saying that this doesn't get loud enough. That's typically not a problem unless you have it installed a little too loose. And but what I mean by loose is you really, when you install this thing, you have to pull the sides of it back and almost flatten it out. The folks at Headwave have told us that this thing is super durable. You're not gonna hurt it by pulling these flaps, these, these edges back. And that's important because you wanna press press real hard in the middle with your thumbs and make a, a flat seal and hit the middle first and then let the edges come around. And so that's important that you get a real nice contact onto the helmet because that's how the sound is uh, transmitted there. So that is super important. Once you have it installed as low and as um, completely as you can, the sound is great. We've used it, you know, uh, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. I'd say if you're not running a windshield, you, you start hitting 80 miles an hour, it's gonna be a little tough. Um, but under that, if you're doing the speed limit, this thing is, is money. Uh, another word uh, of caution, this thing fits almost all the helmets we've tested. If you have a helmet that has a lot of stylization, a lot of ridges on it, you might hit some tough spots. Um, we've mounted it on the top of helmets, on the back of helmets. Again, the back is best, but some helmets that have a lot of ridges, you might have a tough time finding a patch big enough for the Headwave to install. Okay, so once you have it installed and mounted, it's real simple to use. You hit this button down here and it uh, will turn on and pair with any Bluetooth device. Um, I've been told that you can use it, pair it with communi some communication devices, but most riders that are buying this from us are using it just to listen to music on their phone. Guys that don't care about intercom systems, don't want to take a call on their bike, uh, who really wants to do that anyways? Um, so this thing, it's perfect for music. So you turn it on, all right, and you're gonna pair it with your phone. And once you have it paired, you're ready to listen to music here. So incredibly full, rich sound if you can hear, and um, it's hard to really give this to you in a video, but when you have your head in here, it's almost like being in a car with a subwoofer. It's just very vibrant, and um, it produces a lot more bass than a skinny little helmet speaker. 
In terms of battery life, we found this thing to do four to six hours, which is what the manufacturer says it will do. Uh, that falls a little short of some of the newer communication devices, but this thing is really like a roller rink sound system in your helmet. It's putting out a lot of power. So, you know, that's a trade-off you're gonna have to make there. Final thoughts on the HeadWave tag. This thing installs in seconds. There's no wires to mess with. If you don't care about taking calls and you just want full, rich, vibrant music in your motorcycle helmet, it is a killer option. Head over to Speed Addicts to pick up your HeadWave tag today. Thanks for watching everybody and ride safe.